Okay, we, uh, we need to talk about the Video Game Awards. Because the Video Game Awards, they're supposed to be the Video Game Awards. Shocker, right? And I think the Video Game Awards themselves have forgotten that fact. And because of that, we as the viewers have also forgotten that fact. The Video Game Awards aren't supposed to be an E3. We already have an E3. The Video Game Awards are supposed to be a celebration of the last year in gaming and all the hard work and effort that went into making some of the best games we played that year. And sure, in part, it's also supposed to be a look forward into the next year or so, or however long in gaming, because that's exciting and it's, we, it's of course what we want to see as well. But I don't think it should lose this much focus on what the event actually is supposed to be for. As Reggie himself said during this event, And now video games are bigger than the movie industry. <laughs> bigger than music. <laughs> bigger than television. And the Video Game Awards might be the most important night of the year in video gaming. Because it's the time when so many different people from so many different industries, areas, or walks of life have their eyes on video games. And I think it's a really great idea to celebrate how much work goes into making a game. A game like Cyberpunk. It takes so many different teams in so many different areas in the industry to bring these projects together and make them what they are. And I would argue it takes a lot more work and a lot more different elements that go into making a game like that than making the biggest blockbuster movies of the year. Not downplaying how much work goes into making something like Avengers. In fact, the awards that are given don't even cover even half, even a, a tiny minuscule amount of the work and the elements that go into making a video game. And okay, maybe we can't award every little thing, but at least take the time to appreciate the awards that we are giving. And the game award goes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Congratulations to the guys in Infinity Ward. All right. For best strategy game, focus on- Three seconds after announcing the winner for best audio design, they breeze right on into the next category. Do you know how much work goes into audio- How important audio design is to a video game? And not only do we not get to see who did the audio design for the winning game, they could have at least played a clip of one of the cooler sounding parts of the game. Like, what was it that made this game win? We all haven't played it, you know. And the game award in that category goes to Fire Emblem Three Houses. All right, in the category of Content Creator of the Year. When the Game Awards didn't seem to care about their own awards, they breezed through 90% of them in like a second. In fact, and this one really stood out to me the most, they just sort of mentioned Best Acting Performance. And the Game Award goes to Mads Mikkelsen for Death Stranding. Congratulations, Mads. This year, we also added a fan category. Over the and I think this one in itself is a perfect example of what I am trying to say. It's still weird to look out in that audience and see Norman Reedus sat amongst Reggie and Ninja. He sticks out like a sore thumb because it's like, what's Norman Reedus doing here? That's, that's weird. He shouldn't be here. He's actually a, an important person. But it shouldn't be that weird because it is an integral part that make video games what they are. The acting, whether it's motion capped or just straight voice acting, voices bring a lot of these games to life. And we've had amazing actors in video games across the years. And we've had Tim Curry, Jack Black, even Ozzy Osbourne, granted he's a musician, but all three of those were in the same game. And that was like, what, 10 years ago now? So having high profile actors in video games, it's not that common it's not that unusual and yet here we are in 2019 and the only actor I'm seeing in the audience is Norman Reedus and the only other actors I saw during this thing was Michelle who I absolutely love and Vin Diesel who is an absolute creep God she's so beautiful <laughs> am I right or wrong look at her how am I supposed to do this interview look at this woman <laughs> and here's my point to what I'm oh gosh I just spilt my coffee everywhere and here's my point to all of that how are you going to take, arguably, one of the most important awards for actually reaching out there into the industry 
I, like the best performance and breeze over it like you did. Like it was nothing. It was slapped in there with ongoing game or something. I'm not even. I can't even remember. But it was half a second. And Mads won. He does absolutely deserve to win. And okay, he wasn't there. You can have someone accept it on your behalf, or they knew who the winners were weeks in advance. And that's another issue I have with the game awards. You can tell that pretty much for all of these, except for the maybe the few that they announced on stage, they they knew who was going to win well beforehand. Like they knew who was going to win best music, obviously, because they had a whole performance based on who won best music and then every award for the first 80% of the show had the winner standing just off camera so that when they won they could just walk in and give their speech and you could I hate that because you can also tell they've been preparing it and they know they were gonna say something and some of them straight up look bored that they just won because they've already had a week to acknowledge and accept it and they're just trying to not stumble on their lines while they're on stage. If you know that these people have won a week in advance, get a little message from them. Like, geez, like Mads is winning an award and he can't take 30 seconds to record something for it. Just make it feel a little more legit. This is best performance and he, and he won and you didn't show his performance? Like... You know some people haven't played the game, right? You can't assume everyone has seen his performance. You gave him an award, show people what he won for, show his best scene in the game. I can think of 10. Like, I don't get that at all. Oh, you know what? Uh, maybe they couldn't afford the time to actually show this, this actor's <laughs> winning performance because they were too busy having a skip to the 19th Magic the Gathering commercial throughout this event. And that brings me to my next point. Any awards event is by definition a look backwards. Who's done something great in the preceding year? That, so this event that's supposed to be a look back at the last year in gaming, I feel like that's become like 20% of the event, maybe even 10%. And then 50% of the event is like a look forward at the future, a bunch of games that are coming soon, and then the other like 40% is straight up advertisements. I mean, each of the brackets are advertised by someone. I mean, like, what was it? Freshest indie game was sponsored by Subway because it was fresh. I mean, you don't go to the Oscars and you hear best acting performance of the year sponsored by RB Sandwiches, We Got The Meats. Like, it, it's kind of, it's a little bit cringe. But having to cut to all these commercial breaks on a live stream oh my gosh and i wonder how much live birds of prey actually paid to have that commercial played here in the middle of this like what is this becoming like the super bowl maybe if there was a few less ads you could spend a little more time on not blasting through all of these awards i personally i'm watching for the awards whatever announcements and games drop in between the awards is like a little extra bonus for me but i'm not even getting to see these awards because you're going through them so quickly all i'm seeing is commercials the game of Awards should be the most important night in gaming. It shouldn't be another E3. It shouldn't be a giant commercial run. It shouldn't be like trailers and announcements and commercials. That shouldn't be the forefront. It's nice to have them. Like it's nice to see some cool commercials at the Super Bowl. But the Super Bowl should be about the sport. And the Game Awards should be about the Game Awards. Because it is that time of year that we get to celebrate the hard work that goes into this industry and all give ourselves a big old pat on the back. It really should act as a bridge between gaming and this industry and all the other entertainment industries and mainstream media. It should solidify us as not weird little nerdy people. It should go to further enforce the normality that is video games. Most importantly, video games continue to innovate, not only as entertainment, but also into areas far more profound. Experiences with their foundation in video game technology, are being used to help surgeons practice before a difficult procedure and to enable college students to simulate business situations and develop real world skills. I mean, there's so many stigmas around video games, but an event like this, if it was taken as seriously as something like the Oscars, would go a long way to show that, hey, we're just people. I don't, it's not being taken seriously is my point. And it's because the game awards, they're not taking their own award seriously. And it's embarrassing. Yeah, clearly I had a lot of scattered brain thoughts about this event, and I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Please remember that this is, oh, it's my freaking opinion, guys. Jeez, Louise! Every time I make one of these videos, whether I love it, whether I hate it, whether I'm midway on it, it's never, it's never good enough. So just remember, it's my opinion. 
I, I, I loved the announcements, I went in not expecting anything, and I got some cool stuff out of it. I just hate that the Video Game Awards aren't the Video Game Awards. They're E3 Mini, and I don't need that. Nobody needs that. We have E3, we have State of Play, we have freaking Google State of Stadia Play, whatever that's called. We have Nintendo Directs, we don't need something else. We just need Game Awards. We need to celebrate what we've all accomplished for whether you're in the industry or whether you're a player of the games, celebrate video games. Game Awards, celebrate video games next year because this year all you celebrated was money.